Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a drawing of Batman, but as a bat, and no, I don't mean man bat, because this is not him, um, in celebration of the new Batman movie. Uh, as you guys know, the new trailer came out and I'm super excited. Uh, I can't wait to watch that movie. Uh, 2021 can't come fast enough, so... Uh, I was inspired to do this drawing and hopefully you guys like it. So here we go. Okay, so I start off doing uh, a sketch of a silhouette uh, of a bat. Um, so I start, I always start off with the face. Uh, for some reason, uh, I like drawing the eyes or the nose first. Uh, it kind of gives me uh, an idea of how big I want the character to be. Uh, right now, I'm adjusting the face. I wasn't really happy with how it was at first. And now I'm just drawing the ears, trying to get um, a bad look. Uh, I do have my cell phone with me on the side. Uh, as reference, I was looking through images of bats, uh, just trying to capture the look and of the face. And now I'm moving to the feet. Um, you'll see later that I'm going to change my mind about the feet. I wasn't really happy with how it looks. Uh, and then, yeah. So I looked in the bats. So normally, as you can see the silhouette here, the wings at first I, I did like this. You know, I just did lines and I wasn't really sure how the bat wings would look like uh, until I look at the reference images. And they're actually curled and kind of like the knuckle is curled up and then the fingers are pointing up I, I didn't even know about that about bats uh, I always thought bats their their wings were like how they depict them in cartoons but totally wrong and now here I'm just going over the face trying to add a little bit more detail um, fixing it up a bit um, adding the detail in the ears uh, making it a little bit more furry because again, he is going to be a bat uh, mainly and uh, just a little bit of things to uh, make it have that Batman kind of vibe. So here I was thinking that instead of like a bat sign, it's actually the fur, like how a, a skunk has um, white stripes on its belly. I was thinking like this bat would have you know, a bat-like shape on its chest. Um, oh yeah, so he here's where I was wanted to fix the feet. I wasn't happy at how it looks. Uh, and then, you know, I changed how, it, how the positioning of the feet and I still wasn't happy. And then I changed it from two toes to five uh, because uh, I, I saw the feet of bats in my reference photos and they had five digits in their feet so um, four in the front and then uh, a fifth one in the back and then here I go again uh, with the wings um, I try to fold the wings um, I'm still working on you know drawing folds uh, but I think it looks pretty good here and this is my third pass usually by the third time uh, I'm pretty happy with the design and this is just the final um, inking uh, part and I'm just going through adding some final touches making the final design. And as you can see here I'm trying to go really for that bad look and I, I think I got it pretty well um, but you know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And if you want me to draw other superheroes in animal forms, uh, let me know and I'll try to make them. And if you guys want to know what, um, what I'm using, I'm actually using the iPad. And it's not an iPad Pro, just the regular first generation iPad, the first generation of the uh, Apple Pencil. And uh, yeah, it's still working fine. Um, I don't think I want to move on to the iPad Pro just yet. But yeah, if you guys want to have an iPad or start digital drawing, uh, I think an iPad is a really good choice. 
Here I'm just adding some more details on the wings. And now I'm just doing a hard outline. I don't know, for some reason I like that style of just creating a hard outer line. Um, it just pops out to me more. And uh, with the Apple Pencil, you can get really, really detailed and get up close. Uh, you don't see it here, but I'm really like looking at this as if it's a piece of paper. And now I'm going to try my coloring. I'm not that good at coloring. So uh, if it looks a off here, uh, I apologize. I'm still learning, but you know, I wanted to give it a shot and it kind of looks cool. Um, obviously you guys saw the intro uh, where you have the finished drawing and uh, yeah, I think it looked pretty good. So I start off with the, with like a, a gray background color. I'm not even sure what to call that. And um, I decided that the light would be directly on top of the bat. Um, I'm not sure if I got it correctly. Again, I, I'm still practicing lighting and coloring, but it looks decent. It's not bad. Um, I could still, you know, learn some more stuff. And yeah, I wanted to give it a, a different face here. Um, bat faces are, are pretty red or pinkish. And I wanted to give that vibe to this Batman bat. And I'm just cleaning up the, f um, the colors so that everything looks pretty good. Just looking if anything is there, adding some highlights, some shadows, and yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Tell me what you guys think. Perfect. So that was my Batman um, drawing of a bat. Um, and if you want me to do another villain, I'm thinking of making a penguin version. Um, I'm not sure if you know that's unique enough, uh, or maybe a Joker um, as a form of a hyena. You could maybe if you guys like that, uh, I might do that next, or you know, another superhero or a villain. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you guys like this, subscribe. And I'll see you later. Peace out.